Hey guys, what's up? This week's video, I decided to do a Draw My Life video. So, here goes nothing. 22 years ago, I was born on January 7th, 1998 at 8.02 p.m. at Christ Hospital in Cincinnati, Ohio. My dad at the time was overseas in South Korea. He was in the Air Force Forward Air Controller. However, he flew home just in time to see me being born and to be there with me for two weeks while he was in the military. Thanks, Dad. For the first year of my life, while my dad was away, my mom and grandma took care of me. My grandma stayed with us a couple weeks out of the year, and I would also go to my grandma's when my mom had to work. Being one through five, I had such great memories. A lot of people say they can't remember their early years, but I do. It was so, so fun. I remember hanging out with my mom and dad, waking up in my crib, my aunt Shelley and grandma coming to get me and hang out. Ah, uh, such great memories. Me and my brother Gabe would always be playing outside. We were never bored. We shared a room for years together growing up, watched tons of movies, and just had a blast together. Around the ages of three and four, my mom started noticing that I had speech problems. Basically, I was learning at a slower rate than other children my age. When I was put in preschool, I had a special teacher. Her name was Miss Donna. Miss Donna was like my first best friend back in the day. I just feel like she got me. I've always been one to kind of take my time with things, but she really worked hard with me. She had this swing in her room. It was the best swing ever. I remember exactly how it was to this day. Square bottom with four ropes at each corner that attached to the top, but it gets even better. It also attached to a wheel that lets it spin around. So you can literally lay down and spin and swing to your heart's content. I remember as a reward or even just for fun, I would swing on it. It was so profound and such a happy memory. After I graduated preschool, I went into elementary school. This was fun. I had two amazing kindergarten teachers, Miss Lang and Miss Snitzler. They were always really nice to me. They had the schoolroom in their classroom as well with a bean bag and ball pit, literally the best ever. All throughout elementary school, I had the best teachers. They just all seemed like they got me and made me feel like they were happy when I was there along with everyone else. Shout out to all my elementary school teachers. You guys changed my life for the better. That was also where I started messing around with a video camera, the good old VHS home camera. We had a school broadcast for the morning news. It told the weather, current events, and any announcements for the day. That was fun. I was a part of this company called the Rising Star Studios, and I was on TV for a brief period of time telling the Ugly Duckling story through props on a set. That was pretty cool. Middle school things were pretty tight. I had just started swim team, met my two longtime best friends, Logan and Kyle, and my two best bitches, Ko and Ginge. I had a lot of friends and was finding out who I was. I had my first girlfriend. She was always real nice to me and would always hang out with me, which I appreciated. We dated for three and a half years. I went on a couple of really fun field trips to Washington, D.C. and to the Science Museum. High school. High school was rough. My freshman year was cool. Me and my girlfriend were doing pretty well. I was starting to get picked on a lot as, uh, in my freshman year. My sophomore year a lot changed. Me and my girlfriend at the time ended things cordially because we both were kind of done with each other. I was getting made fun of a lot and I really didn't know who I was. I had so many people in my ear and yelling at me and just giving me anxiety that I was trying to find an escape. Basically, I started to party. As soon as I got my license, I started to party really hard, hanging around people that I didn't even really know. We would hang out, do bad things, and get into trouble all the time. I have a lot of fun mem memories from this, but it also had a very negative impact on my life. I was mistreating the people who really cared about me and who I blamed for the position I was in at the time, when really it was no one's fault. Everyone goes through different things in their life. It was just for me at the time, I had no backup and no one I could really, really turn to for support that understood where I was coming from. Eventually, after partying really hard, I almost died once, or maybe a couple times, which I'll explain in another video, and almost got arrested another time. So needless to say, I had to get out of where I was. One day shortly after graduating high school, my buddy Hunter called me up and told me he was moving to Louisville and was wondering if I would be interested in going with him. I said, sure, I'd love to. So I packed up my life and moved down there for a year. This year taught me so much, taught me who I was and what I could do as a person. I failed at pretty much everything, but it really directed me to where I needed to be and what I wanted to do. Also, I loved my apartment. It was beautiful. I started in college and figured out very quickly that college wasn't for me at all and it never would be what I wanted. I would be unhappy and that's not what I wanted. At the end of the year, I was hit by a drunk driver again and my car was sadly totaled again. 
This put me in a major tough spot. I had just started delivering food, so this obviously was a massive wrench in the program. Leaving Louisville defeated, without a car, broke, and totally out of money and luck, I moved back home in search of who I was and what I wanted to gain in life. In June of 2019, my best friend Amber came back from a trip she was on. She travels internationally all the time. We both traveled internationally for the first time together to Costa Rica. One night while we were out with friends, she had mentioned to me that she was going to Spain to spend nine months there to be a teacher. She then mentioned to me, hey, would you maybe want to travel with me? A light bulb went off my head. I knew if I get out of here for a little bit, I would be completely recharged and ready to set goals for myself and achieve my dreams. So for the next five months, I saved every penny I could to fund myself for a month of my travels. With the support of my family, I was able to travel and broaden my horizons to the other side of the world with my best friend, visit two continents and seven countries. This trip completely changed my outlook on life and fueled me to achieve more, work harder, and open my life up to being better. I came back refreshed and ready to take on 2020 no matter what. Hi, my name is Blake. I'm goofy, crazy, smart, funny, loud, and proud. Come with me on this crazy journey.